Um, I am not a liar. I have killed thousands. I have fed more drug fiends than the top three pharmaceutical companies combined. I have stolen children from parents, wives from husbands, wiped out entire generations. But lying, that I have never done. The rest are offenses against humanity. Lying is an offense against yourself. I am the head of the Santa Blanca organization. Which you call a cartel. True. I had a dream. I dreamed of a land where we could grow our own coca. Produce our own cocaine. Where we could run our business free from interference from the police. The government. The army. The Yankees. In my dream. A woman's voice asked me. Sueño. Mijo. What if you had your own country? Like Moses, I led my people to the promised land, Bolivia. We came here. We bought the coca fields. What we couldn't buy, we took. We bought the police, the military, the judges, the politicians. We were on the verge of becoming the government itself, on the razor's edge from fulfilling my dream. of creating a narco state. The nation of Santa Blanca. Hmm. So that's how this game starts off. Okay, bow. Last week, a crude explosive detonated outside the US Embassy in La Paz, Bolivia. Two Marine Embassy guards were injured in the blast. Two days later, a CIA asset in central Bolivia provided us with these images. Our analysts have identified the individual in the photo as DEA Special Agent Ricardo Ricky Sandoval, my friend. Sandoval has had spent the last six years investigating the local cocaine industry. Our understanding is that Sandoval was the intended target of the bombing. What the embassy bomb did not accomplish was completed up close and personal. Sandoval was captured, tortured, and killed. Then his body was dumped. We have yet to recover it. Our target, the group responsible for the embassy bombing and the death of Special Agent Sandoval, is the drug trafficking organization commonly known as the Santa Blanca Cartel. Yesterday, they were just narcos. Today, they're narco-terrorists. Damn. Initially, the Bolivian government resisted the Mexican cartel. They formed UNIDAD, a Bolivian special forces unit. It didn't go as planned. Thousands of bodies later, politicians, police officers, and journalists have become an endangered species. The Bolivian government has imploded on itself. With no other options, the new president made a deal with Santa Blanca. You stop killing our people, we'll look the other way. Since then, Santa Blanca has turned Bolivia into the nexus of the South American drug trade. With their friends in Mexico, they also have a clear pipeline to the U.S. and Canada. The only way to stop Santa Blanca for good is to completely dismantle them, piece by piece. The cartel is organized into four operations. Production, smuggling, security, and influence. At the top of it all is El Jefe de los Jefes, boss of bosses, El Sueño. Oh. Damn. Okay, guess how that's gonna start off. So, that was a pretty good intro, I have to say. That was pretty good. Now, I did play the beta, uh, so I don't, and it, it was kind of terrible on my computer. I don't know how this is gonna turn out. It, I could not get above 50 FPS no matter where I went. Hopefully, it's not like that, but we're about to see. Um, I know I haven't uploaded in a while, I just haven't really had any, I haven't been playing any games that's been good for YouTube, and I just wasn't feeling YouTube in the past like couple months, but I saw this game, I really want to play it, but I also think it's going to be good for YouTube, and also I want to record my moments, so 
we'll see how it goes. Hopefully it doesn't lag the living shit out of my computer. Because I don't exactly... Like, the beta was pretty shit. It was not optimized with the sh... Like, it was not optimized at all. So, I don't know how this is going to go over. But, we'll see. So, I can play the beta 100%. So, let's get into this. Alright, guys. I have made my character. And, as you can see, I'm... I'm pretty much going for a green loadout. I mean, shit, why not? Uh, I mean, when the beta, I did, like, a... I did like a tannish loadout sort of, but I kind of want to change it up, so we're just going to go full on green. I mean, it probably doesn't fucking matter, but, uh, you know, fuck it, we're going to advance. We can do this. We can do advance, man. Okay, getting some low frames. Okay, they're going back. Eh, maybe not. Maybe it's because it's loading. I don't, I don't know. This may be a cutscene, dude. God, my fucking frames. I hope it's not like this in the actual game. Because if it is, they need to optimize the shit out of this thing. Because, I mean, I got pretty good specs, but god damn. It's fucking loading. There it goes. Okay. By the way, I'm not going to talk during cutscenes. The agent they murdered. You knew him? He was a friend of mine. Sorry for your loss. I could say it comes with a job, but it doesn't get any easier. No, it doesn't. That's true. Guess you've been down here a while? I've been living as Karen Bohm, an international aid worker, for just about five years. Means living rough, but as a cover, it gets me out and about. At least it comes with a chopper. How'd you get in country? A fluent business class from Manaus. Hey, I'm refreshed and ready for work, right? I just hitched rides from Barranco, Peru. How about you? I got on board a bus in Hui, Argentina, and drank all the way to Via Zone. Nobody wants to deal with a drunk on the bus. That explains why you smell like ass. <laughs> about you guys. I was a rookie field officer in Moscow when the coup went down. There was talk you were involved? Nah, it must have been someone else. We were never there. It's not every day you get to meet an urban legend in the flesh. Huh, you should tell that to my kid. Maybe he'd listen when I tell him to take the trash out. Is it hard being someone who doesn't officially exist? Yes. You tell me, Karen Bowman. International aid worker. Tell. Tell her. I am. She. I'm sure you've seen the horrible, fucked up shit humans are capable of when there are zero repercussions. But let me tell you right now no matter how you compartmentalize, how you desensitize, you can't prepare for El Sueño. You want a bet? religious street that rates pretty close to delusional. He's taken vows of poverty, chastity. If he's not in it for the chocha or the money, he's in it for the power. This joint task force is CIA, DEA, JSOC. I'm your resident spook for this ride. Welcome to Operation Kingslayer. Our briefing said there'd be a contingent of locals. The guitar is 26. They're a group of rebels who've been giving Unidad and Santa Blanca some resistance. We'll meet their leader, Pakatari, as soon as we touch down. Bolivians have a long history of hating us Yankees, but this time, let's hope the enemy of my enemy will be my friend. But don't turn your back on him. I'm not going to. Oh, good enough. I like the music. Oh shit, they're 
Those frames. <laughs> oh, she just gave me. Four soldiers. This is the help you promised? That Sandoval promised? A single Yankee died. So you send a handful of soldiers. Hundreds of Bolivians have died from Santa Blanca's bullets. Where will my hundreds of soldiers come from? Why is that like As that? Americans, we aren't here, remember? These soldiers are the best covert ops team our country has to offer. With their help, you won't need hundreds of soldiers. Are you familiar with the word Huber, Senora Bowman? Meet Pat Katari, leader of the resistance group Kataris 26. We will be working with the rebels to destabilize Santa Blanca's organization. They've been fighting Santa Blanca and corrupt Bolivian officials for nearly six years now. We'll need to coordinate targets. There is no time for this. We have information on Amaru's whereabouts. Amaru? You found him? Amaru is one of the founders of the Kataras 26. More than that, her group is founded on his ideas. Without his theories of an agrarian proletariat, there would be no organized resistance against Santa Blanca and the corruption in our government. Amaru must be saved. If you were to assist my people, it would do much to earn my confidence. Where is he? We do not know exactly. We know he's in this province and that there is a Santa Blanca lieutenant who knows where he is. I'll put a call into the activity, see if they can dig more intel out of the airwaves. Start looking for that lieutenant and keep me informed of everything via sat phone. Good hunting. Saving Amaro is important to our cause, Yankee. Make sure you don't kill the Santa Blanca lieutenant before you get the chance to ask him questions. Okay. I'll try not to. God, I hope my friends won't like this in the actual game. Hope that's just some cutscenes. This is gonna be shit if it is. Are they following me? Time to earn your pay, people. Put on your game faces. I tell you, I'm not too comfortable working with Pakatar and these rebels. They're kind of like. Ideology always ends up with more bodies in the ground. What's your feeling on this op, Nomad? End of the day, this is a revenge mission. We need to focus and get this done quick before we get stuck between local politics and the firestorm of cartel bullets. First objective, track down that Santa Blanca lieutenant so we can find Amaru. Ooh, uh. All right, so I got teammates. All right. So it's not like the uh, beta. So the beta, I didn't have teammates. Okay, hold on. First of all, uh, audio sound effects. It's a little down there. I mean, it's a little up there. Okay, 38 frames is not, yeah. Oh. This is gonna suck. If I'm not getting the best frames, oh my god. It's so silly. Sensitivity on this driving. Gotta have changed one. I actually want to try something that didn't work in the beta. I think it's only with these guys. It's not with like online players. It's a sync shot. I want to try it. So I can never get it to work. Oh my god. Okay, yeah, we're just gonna buy. We're just gonna get used to that. Until they optimize this shit. Hopefully they optimize it. You never know. It is Ubisoft after all. Jesus. Ready? Fire. I copy. Why the fuck would you? Oh, okay. That's not what I wanted to happen. That's a kill. Don't want to spook the target. Switch to suppressors. Okay, I get it. I I played the bit. All right, let's deploying drone. I hope for you are shooting. Just spotted one with submachine yeah, guns. Spotted another tango. I got a third target. I don't see anyone else. Okay. Good eyes on the target. Let's move. What the fuck is that? Um, okay. Okay. Aim 
Aim at target and press Q to sync mark it. Shoot or hold Q to initiate the. And co op, sync marks help you. Okay, well, I'm working, fucking. I'm moving to position. Oh, it doesn't fucking work. It's fucking co op. Target down. I don't fucking trust these guys. It's supposed to help. Now, what these supplies do is, um, you get, you can do skills, and some skills require a certain amounts of these supplies. So, I'm actually gonna, before I do anything, I'm gonna see if I can get some more locations. I know there's a guy in there. Got another tank. There he is. The only other guys in there. So we got a Sicario. The right, watchtower. Well, See? Oh, that supplies. Tango down. Goddamn tower. A little camp thing. Get that the key, though. Heads up, narco with a submachine gun. Here's the deal, asshole. You answer my questions, or I put a bullet in your gut and leave you to die in your own shit. Lo entiendes? Chill the fuck out, cabron. What do you want? Amaru. Where can I find him? Come on, You serious? That's what this is about? Sure thing. He's at Atoya Farm. Go on. Then you can see what we do to people who fuck with us. People like you. Okay, mate. I'll fucking kill your ass. We need to get this done in a hurry. Amaru's an old man. He's not gonna last long under torture. Shit, if they've been working on him for a while, there's a good chance he's already dead. Maybe, maybe not. Uh -huh. Amaru's a major player in the rebel movement. The cartel will keep him alive as long as they can to find out what he wants. Uh, can't, can't afford to take around. any chances. Too much riding on this. Let's move. Oh, okay, I can't get any ammo. Maybe the ammo does it. Ammo is taken up on this first mission. I see a second target, and maybe makes three. Okay, so that's everyone. Let's get moving. The cartel isn't gonna wait around for us to track down and rescue Amaru. Okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to do this stealth. Just because you know. Back, he's standing right there. I just have to fucking just go gun blazing. Okay, you go in there, kill these two. History. Yeah, dude. My aim is on all point. Right, all wow, let's get supplies. Now, I wonder if I have to take these guys with me. I mean, some missions is probably gonna be helpful. Some missions, I don't know. Do I do them all? I don't fucking know. All right, so can we actually do skills right now? Oh, okay, so we have one. Alright. Wait, no. What are you doing? Physical. I'm gonna want stamina. I know I'm going to. No, uh, no pain. Come on, Jesus. 
so I got another skill point. Okay. Oh wait, no, I didn't. Okay, that was from that. All right. Let's grab these. These documents. Those Every you, place. The Sicarios have found the escaped prisoner in the village of Curta. What a wonderful name for a town. They were protecting him. See, si. the village is known to Unidad as taking the bike. rebels. Why do these rebels even bother? Kill them We're all. Out. I'll meet you there. The whole village. Visit divine wrath upon Culta and wipe it off the face of the earth. Claro, al rato. So each place has its own, uh, certain amount of, uh, goddamn this stuff. Certain amount of, uh, things you have to locate like that. Files and DVDs and shit. Okay. Uh, not a bad day. Oh, I don't understand these fucking physics. Goddamn, my sensitivity is way too high. Try me at least. Nice, sort of, but god damn it's too high. I mean, I could turn it down, but... Oh. I cannot find a good sensitivity in the beta, so... Oh my Jesus. What was you fast on that corner, huh? This is gonna be the uh, the quest that we end on today. After we complete this, we'll be done. Because you know, I don't want to do it too long on the episode. God damn, that's loud. Won't be loud for you guys because I can talk it. Turn it down. God damn. So you know what? Actually, want to get out here. I got one narco. Front to the barn. Oh, they just teleport. Ah, uh, okay. Got another tango. Got there. Tango number three. Got there. Got there. Here's target number some, five. There's still one more over here somewhere. I don't think I'm ready. Oh, wait. There. Oh, there's still one more. I think. Yeah, he's probably in the building now. Okay. I got a narco over here. Inside the barn. What the fuck? Huh. Well, I got some fresh weapons. Coming up on a Toyo farm. Remember, a lot of these Sicarios are ex-military. ID your targets. If Amaru gets killed by a stray round, Operation Kingslayer will be dead in the water before it even starts. Let's go. Oh, I'm gonna let that motherfucker out. Let's get these supplies. Let's get that whatever that is. I don't know if it's gonna be a gun or a weapon or a accessory. Yo, I got a weapon accessory. Here. So what is it? Awesome. I can put this to use. Panoramic sight. So let's see. So you press F to edit the gun. Sight. Fuck yeah. Paint. All right. Let's see. What kind of? Oh, the knives even underscore. Okay. That's, yeah. Fuck it. I don't. That looks. That actually looks kind of cool. God damn. Yeah, this, this game is not gonna get on my computer for some reason. Hey. Are you gonna come out? Oh, I got Are you Amaro? Oh, you... What's left of him, man? Oh, I gotta drive you back. Come on, we're getting oh. you out of here. 
Okay, well, we're taking a helicopter. If I can know how to fucking fly this bitch. Oh, no, not. God damn it. Shift up, control down, WS, shift A and D. Okay. Sure are a lot of lights and switches up here. Now we'll get on this. That's not a sweet. I don't know how exactly to fly a helicopter in this. It's weird how you have to fly. It's Back like, to your I don't like it. Entonces Pacatari has made his deal with the malditos extranjeros, the young fool. Take it up with him, senor. Let's climb the goddamn mountain first. The way you have to fucking fly is very fucking interesting. And I do not like it. But, you know, it's way faster than a fucking vehicle. If I can get back in the uh, speed of things, I can do this. I just have to remember exactly how to fucking fly. Like, good too. Like, I was a very good flyer in uh, the beta, but I don't remember how the fuck I did it all. Okay, after this cussing we're done. Are you hurt? Santa Blanca is not the most gracious of hosts. These Aucas, these demons, they had questioning me. Let us say their talk of love was enough to make me vomit. But their methods were not... Were not... Were their names Yuri and Polito? See, si. Yuri Polito. These are the fucks that tortured Ricky Sandoval with when you questioned him. I want them bad. Okay. We only saw run of the mill Sicarios when we freed Amaru. But I haven't seen Yuri and Polito in at least three days, maybe four. I don't know where they are now. We need more intel. We'll search every village and camp until we find something. Somebody's gotta know something. Gather documents, hack computers, interrogate hostile lieutenants, talk to civvies, whatever it takes. We'll turn over every rock. No, we won't. God damn. That's too much fucking work. Okay. Let's see what these, what this reference case is. What is it? Heads up. Bowman's file on Yuri and Polito is coming through. Oh, shit. That's... Load out. Oh, we got a sniper. Okay. Aim it. Switch with the sniper. Alright. That's pretty good. Alright, guys. I think that's where we're going to call it for today. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, and That's I'll see you on the next one.